Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am sat in my kind of like kitchen living area today because I have some homeware products that I wanted to share with you. Actually, I have two fashion items as well, but I am bringing to you today a Timu haul. Now I have shopped Timu before and you really liked the last haul that I did with them. So I thought I would browse their websites, have another look. They reached out again and wanted to work with me, which I thought perfect opportunity to maybe show you some of the festive Christmassy things that they have on their website that have caught my eye. Now I have a whole host of things. It's not just Christmas. And I also have some things that could be good Christmas gift ideas as well. So if you haven't already, make sure you are sitting comfortably, light the candles, pop your feet up, grab a drink and some snacks and let's jump into the haul shall we i will also leave everything linked in the description box below along with a discount code for you guys to save money so make sure to take advantage of that okay first item and i feel like you can't really get more festive than a christmas mug and how cute is this glass christmas mug i love it a little hot chop in this so adorable not to mention how affordable these items are as well. I'll be popping images on screen so that you can see the price of them. So I saw this on a, it was actually on an American influencers like YouTube channel and Americans, Americans, a lady from America who has a YouTube channel, she showed this and I just, as soon as I saw it, I kind of like had it saved as an item that I wanted to get my hands on. So um, yeah, when I was putting in this order, this was the first thing that I added to my basket. And if you're looking at it wondering what it is, it is a glass kind of like simmer pot that you can pop on your hob. And if you've never seen the simmer pot before, I have actually vlogged it a previous year, me doing a little simmer pot, but you can do it at Christmas time, autumn time. And you basically just add water, all the kind of like spices and scents that you want to fill your room with. Oranges, cinnamons, apples, just a really nice kind of cozy simmer pot. I suppose you could do one in spring, summer as well. I also got myself this really nice rustic pot. They have quite a lot of different rustic pots and things like that to choose from. I've had a few in the past from Team U, but they're all quite small. I think this is the biggest one that I've probably got from them before, uh, but they're all really good sizes to have kind of stacked up on shelves for display and for styling, as well as obviously you could pop some faux foliage in here. It doesn't have drainage or anything. I just love how rustic and textured this one is. I mean, that is something that I would 100% see at an antiques fair and pay a lot more than what I paid for it on Timu. Oh guys, I got this. I love this. So I have something similar already, but I thought I could get another one for in the front room. It could also be really nice in a bedroom, but I'll show you what it is. It's a fabric. I feel like I need to sit back for this one. It's a fabric uh, advent calendar that you can hang up with these loops. So it just says on the front, countdown to Christmas. Again, aesthetic vibes is just perfection with this one. Just very simple, minimal, neutral. Would go with any Christmas theme, but specifically I think it would look really nice with like a Scandi theme or a minimal like white Christmas theme. It does have 24 little pouches that you can pop in there. Little Christmas chocolates. You could have individual little gifts wrapped up. The little mini beauty products you could pop within here could be really good as like a little pet advent calendar as well that you can maybe pop a little dog treat or cat treat or toy in each one. Another item that I really love the look of, and again, I've got kind of similar to these, um, which I bring out at Christmas time, but I just, as soon as I saw them again, I had to, had to include these. So it's a bit of Christmas decor. They do these really rustic cowbells, which I personally really like um, on the end of a garland or hanging from a wreath that you could pop on your front door, you could pop at the end of your staircase if you have a garland wrapped around your staircase or on a mantelpiece. They do jingle a little bit. Um, and I also, I think last year, I actually hung the cowbells that I've got because I've got a set of two matching in the black room, in the front room, where we've got some wall lights. We've got two wall lights either side of the TV and I actually had the matching ones either side hung up on the 
the wall lights, which I really like. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, I actually picked up, I'll show you these bits next. So call me crazy, but I bought some bits for Barney's birthday. So he's turning four in November. He is a November baby. And these bits are great for like kids as well. I appreciate not everyone's going to go all out for their dogs like I do. But you know, Barney has an Instagram and it's something we like to do over here, okay? It's got a little crazy on special occasions. So I bought a couple of things. I bought a balloon, which you can get these numbered balloons, just this gold foil. I won't blow it up just yet, but it's just the number four. Because can you believe it? He is turning four. It feels like yesterday I got him, honestly. It's kind of crazy. Um, I also got this, which again, I can use time and time again for loads of different people. It's not obviously not just for Barney, but a little cake topper. So it comes like this with the little wooden um, like sticks that you stick at the top of your cake. And it just says happy birthday with these cute little kind of canvas um buntings and this was less than one pound fifty bargain it's my birthday. a little doggy bandana again cute for the photo also loads of different designs and colors and everything oh i just had to run upstairs to go grab another battery because that one died honestly youtubers will understand the oh, the pain in starting to film and then seeing your red battery flashing on screen. Anyway, um, yeah, so I got this birthday bandana for him. I also got this little cute hat. Again, so affordable and again, one that you can bring out time and time again. There were some with like the numbers on, but I just thought that we won't be able to reuse. So uh, yeah, and also loads of different colors, but I went for the, the aesthetic beige theme along with a little So I won't squeak it or show too much, but a little rope toy for his birthday gift. And he gets a steak for dinner, okay? So he is spoiled on his birthday. I also got, I think this is the last thing I got for his birthday bit, is this um, like bunting, which just says happy birthday. And again, it's just plain hessian and white, so it could be used for anyone's birthday at any age at any time so i found these now team you do quite a lot of do we say dupes or do we say heavily inspired by other items that i've seen or bought or want but at a much more affordable price so again for gifting i thought this would be a good idea for christmas they do these journals They're all like a linen cover as well. If I just come in a bit closer so you can see, it's like a really nice fabric. They've got the page uh, marker and the layout is just the same. So yeah, there's a little quote on the top um, and then the, I'm grateful for what we make today, great positive affirmations. And then at nighttime you can fill it in with good things that happened today and what I learnt today. And then I also got this one, which is just very simply a day of gratitude, follows the same inside. And then a black one, again, with the same layout inside. So yeah, I'm thinking for gifting purposes, these will be lovely. I have one already like this and love it. Use it all the time. So I just think they make such a lovely gift. As does this, I thought this is a cute idea. A little suede pouch that comes with, you probably won't guess. Go on, place your guesses. What's inside here? A foldable ballet flats so for nights out for races day they have like a gripper liner I mean, you could just use them as slippers if you wanted to i'm thinking for folding up for an occasion where you might end up wanting to take your heels off these are perfect and the fact that they're so small like they can literally just fold up into a tiny little pouch that will pop in your handbag i think they're genius again Loads of different colours of these ones. I thought this was the most kind of like neutral and wearable shade for pairing with any outfit. Also got, um, oh, I suppose this is kind of like dog related as well. I've seen these on TikTok, these little 
inkless pour pads that you can use for say in a greeting card you want to sign it off from barney you can use the pour um print or you could use these for like baby's feet you could make artwork you could frame it so yeah i thought they were um really good uh, when i saw them online so i grabbed one from timu i got a stock up of some of my favorite cozy socks i actually have this set already and they're just uh, the perfect obviously neutral shades um set of socks that are just the right length on your ankle to like wear with like leggings so we've got neutral shades five pairs love them i got this bag for christmas i already have one of these and it is full to the brim to the point where i can't even fit any more things in it because i have a lot of different like christmas gift wrap i thought i could have one specifically for christmas and then the other one be for like the rest of the year that's what i'm thinking anyway um so it's just one of these wrapping um wrapping paper storage bags so it looks like so it's just a rectangle you just zip open all the way and you can pop in there um gift bags wrapping rolls of wrapping paper gift tags bows ribbons and it all be stored in one place with a handle as well for ease yeah, i'm glad i have a second one of those because it was needed i also got um again stock up of some bands that i like to use for my bedding so this is good for spare bedding now i've got a couple of the full ones i think in america they have different terminology to us so our bed is a super king so i use full as if it's like you know fills the room oh i got these Okay, very Studio McGee with the whole little nutcracker trend for Christmas. They do these sets of mini nutcrackers. How cute are they? I think the intention with these is like for kids, you could do a little DIY task activity where you can paint them. But I think if you like a kind of Scandi vibe then and a minimal vibe, then actually just keeping them plain is quite nice so you've got in there six and they actually have the mechanism of nut cracking although very small so i can't imagine they'd be good for an actual nutcracker but yeah in terms of a little fun diy or just dotting around the house as decor you could even include them within a gift bag i just thought they were lovely i also got some autumn foliage for i wanted to try it here along this part here but I've just held it up and it doesn't fit. So I'm not sure if I will be keeping this because like I said, it's just not the right thickness, fullness. I think I would have needed to buy a lot more of these, but they are a lovely color um, for like a nice kind of neutral autumn decor with a bit of shaping. I, I definitely think I needed more though. A little DIY project, you could just cut the leaves off and use it for if you're needing autumn leaves in that color i also got a print which i thought i mean i've got plenty of frames and things within my shelf that i like to switch out seasonally for uh different prints depending on the season i mean you can i have even seen people pop these just unframed on the wall or i've even see pe seen people kind of like with a bit of blue tack stick it directly to um another frame that fits rather than having to take it off the wall, especially if it's with like command strips, you don't need to, you don't want to get a new fresh command strip out. Literally just sticking that to the frame, to the front of it. But anyway, it's a really pretty kind of landscape neutral, almost like sketch work. Oh guys, I got this. It's not at all what I imagined it would be. I got this little hanging decoration for my novelty tree with a little golden on that says Merry Christmas. But it's actually quite big and it's on this like wooden, plaque also i got these um this roll of stickers which i don't think i'll use i thought they were going to be 3d but they're not they're just like printed to made to look like they're 3d and um, they look like they're the wax seal stamps in green and uh like a dark burgundy so good for maybe if you've got kids and you want to differentiate their gifts with just popping a sticker on each one red for the boy in green for the girl or whatever or um something like that but in terms of for me and my gift wrap i don't think i'm going to use them just because they're not they're not what i thought they were going to be i got this for the kitchen really random purchase but i've seen these before um they're just like an acrylic chopping board with this little lip here that you can simply say those the worktops there you just 
put it up to the worktop so that you've got a, an acrylic board that you can easily move around and um, yeah, just quite like the fact that it's acrylic. It's a bit different, isn't it, to look like just a standard wooden chopping board. I also got these set of little mini LED lights. I actually was thinking this more so for Halloween, for decorating the porch, for having just on Halloween night to like kind of entice people in. I could even pop a few down the drive um, that people like walk like a little path following the LED lights. What do you think? So anyway, it's a pack of 24. Do they need a battery or something? Oh no, they don't need a battery. Okay, I'm gonna keep them switched off and use them just for Halloween so that I know that they'll have plenty of battery life to last the full evening. Um, and then I also got, lastly, some clothes. Now I got this set of pajamas, very like kind of Christmassy without being Christmas because they have these cute little teddy bears on and moons and stars. They kind of look quite childish now that I've got them in person, but they're adorable. You can get matching as well. So that if you do have kids, you could have a full family pajama set. Now I will say with these, they're quite thin, not cozy vibes in terms of cuddled up in the cold winter months. And then I just got this cozy lounge set. It's like a brush cotton. I'm not sure on the color though. I don't know. What do you think? It's just a simple pair of like straight leg trousers with the matching little kind of top. It is very, very soft. That is everything that I picked up from Team You. So let me know of any of these items, which was your favorite. Again, just a reminder, I will pop all the links in the description box below, along with a discount code, which you can use to make sure to take advantage. Loads of different gift ideas on there and Christmas decor and definitely want to shop ahead of the season and have a browse. So enjoy. If you've still got some of your teas or coffees left, why not pop over to Team You and have a little online shop and see what they have got in at bargain prices so yeah thank you so much to them for working with me on today's video thanks to you guys for watching and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys